Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Ung Studio and today we're going to be designing and making a wood funnel light. If you haven't seen any of my previous wood light videos, I highly recommend you check those ones out as well. For this project, I wanted to keep the design as simple as possible and I wanted to build on some of the ideas that I had in earlier wood lights that I made. Before we jump into the design of this project, please remember to support this channel by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing for more. Now with that, let's jump into the design of this project. Here's a 3D model of the wood funnel light that I developed in a software called Rhinoceros. You can start to see the simplicity in its design based on the fact that all of the exterior wood slats are the exact same piece. There will be 24 of these pieces installed onto these two frames that I'm highlighting here in yellow. These two frames are different in that the top frame is open for the light bulb to be able to be installed and to allow light to go out of the top of this table light. The base here has an opening that'll be the location of the light bulb. The light bulb will be held in place by the table lamp and held off of the table by about 4 inches by the base. The way that the wood slats are designed is that they're going to be larger at the top and smaller at the base. When they're installed, they'll be installed at about a 15 degree angle all around the perimeter of the two circular frames. This will create a barrier for anyone looking directly at the light so that they don't look directly into the light bulb. You can start to see that as I go around the 3D model here where all of the direct views of where the light bulb would be is essentially blocked by each of the wood slats. Now let me show you what the design of each individual piece will look like and then we'll jump into laser cutting the pieces. Here you'll see the three primary pieces that will come together to create this wood funnel light. You can see the two different frames that are similar to all of my previous wood light videos and then you'll see the piece that I developed for this particular project. I wanted to take a moment here to talk about the different iterations that I came up with before I landed on this particular piece. All of the pieces that you see here are in chronological order in how they were developed. The one all the way on the left as highlighted here in yellow is the first piece that I came up with. The design of this piece was very simple but I decided not to go with it because there are a lot of lights out there that already have this particular design. So I evolved that design to this one here where it was going to be larger at the top and smaller at the bottom. I really liked the way that this looked and then I decided to chamfer off the top right corner of this particular piece. That's where I came up with this piece here where you can see the curve on the top right coming down to the center here. I thought it would look really cool if you looked down directly into this light fixture from the top because you'd see this swiveling effect that came from all of the pieces with this slight chamfer. From there I increased the height of the piece and I also made it a bit more narrow. I liked the way that this was going to create a sharp looking light but the reason why I decided to evolve it one more time was because I couldn't lay out the pieces onto a sheet efficiently. So I decreased the size of that particular piece so that I can fit as many pieces as I could into my Glowforge laser cutter and cut all of the pieces out on essentially two pieces of maple plywood. Once I decided on this design here, I took all of the pieces and laid them out on a sheet. I'll show you what that looks like in Adobe Illustrator. Here in Adobe Illustrator, you'll see that I was able to fit all 24 pieces onto two sheets as well as the two frames that I need to make this project. This is important to me because I really want to be able to efficiently cut every project that I make on my Glowforge laser cutter so that I can save the material and decrease the amount of waste that comes out of all of my projects. So that's the design and 3D model of this wood funnel light. Before we jump into laser cutting this project, please remember to support this channel by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing for more. Now with that, let's jump into laser cutting this project.
So that's how I designed and made this wood funnel light using eighth inch maple plywood. From the beginning to the end of the project, it took about five hours total, and that includes the amount of time it took to design it in rhinoceros, and then to laser cut and assemble it like you just saw. Just like all of the other wood lights that I designed and made on this channel, this one was really easy to assemble because all of the finger joints came together and just needed a little bit of wood glue in the joint to hold all of the pieces together in the future. Before I end this video, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to all of the people out there who have subscribed to my channel and supported the things that I'm doing by liking all of my videos and also commenting and interacting with me in the comment section below. When I started this channel back in May 2020, it was something that I was doing just to document my process of designing and making products because that's the part of design that I love. I like the process and I like to share that with everyone out there so that you can start to understand what it's like to design a product or to design architecture. So with that, thank you guys so much for following me and for subscribing and supporting my channel. I have hoped to see you guys in my next video.